with their excellent sense of smell. Wow, look at them run! Thundering hooves! Impressive, isn't it? Whoa, sorry, Mr. B. Good place to land, Pip Ship. Bouncing bananas, it's Buffalo Central. Water is very important. Buffalo can drink up to 30 litres a day. <laughs> This looks like fun in the sun. Up to several hundred make a herd. Sometimes as many as 2,000. Wow! Imagine it, Ed. Buffalo as far as the eye can see. Look at those two sizing each other up with very heavy horns. They'll give themselves terrible headaches. Now then, why do you suppose she's just standing there? Cooling off, I guess. Also coating herself in a layer of mud. Why? It protects the skin from insects. Like wearing a thin set of pyjamas? Sort of. I never thought of it like that. See? You learn something every day. Now, remember what I said about their noses? Yes. Very sensitive. Correct. It makes up for their poor vision and hearing. That's very cool. What is? Having to rely on your nose to find out what's going on around you. It's all part and parcel of being a buffalo, Ed. Up you get. Swim time's over. <laughs> mud for one day. Look at them moseying about. They'll never wander far from water. Not when you need 30 litres a day. Magnificent, aren't they? Giants, too. Come on, Eppa. Back to the ship. It will be tough to keep up on foot. My thoughts exactly. Come in, Pip Ship. So, if buffaloes are like the moon and usually come out at night, that makes them what? Um, stars? No, that makes them nocturnal animals. Sleep during the day, wake up at night. Yes, nocturnal, like the stars. Which is why you see them lazing about during the day. Catching up on sleep. Sleeping under the trees. Catnapping, in other words. In other words, yes, napping in the shade. A few daydreamers grazing. Look. So it's water and grass, grass and water, and sleep in between. Buffalo paradise. See? Even the birds are joining in the fun. How do you suppose the birds get there? They fly, of course. And the buffaloes don't mind? No. In exchange for the ride, the birds clean ticks and fleas off the buffaloes. Hmm. I have an idea. Remember, Ed, you're not a bird. Pip ship, let's find a tree. Ed, this is not part of the plan. What plan? Whatever plan. It's not part of it. Yippee! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Buffalo. Whoa! Mm, that's better. Careful, Ed. OK, chaps, let's huddle for a group shot. Gotcha. Watch out! Huh? Ed! Yikes! Peppa! Ed! Ooh! Oh, hello. When did you fly in? We're coming in to get you. A real action shot. Grab onto the ship, Ed! Ugh. Are you all right, Ed? Fine. Not a scratch. Well, no more riding buffalo. I wasn't riding them. I was surfing. From now on, both feet on the ground. Understand? Hey, Pipship, let's get in close to the watering hole. Ah. Come on, follow me. You know, once you get the hang of it, surfing a buffalo is easy. Ed, see these? They're feet. Feet for walking, not surfing. Okay, okay. Where's all his friends? 
He's a lone buffalo, Ed. You mean a buffalo all alone? Why? Young males leave the herd when they're about three. They either hook up with a few mates or wander around by themselves. I get lonely all by myself. Well, he has the birds for company. Besides, it's in his nature. He doesn't mind. Where are his horns? Probably got broken off in a fight. Ow! That must have hurt. Maybe Bruce is pride of it, but I don't think it caused him any pain. Why would Buffalo fight? Sometimes males will fight for control. But they seem to get along so well with everyone. From birds to zebras, buffaloes are everyone's friends. Mostly they're calm and quite cheery. But they do have to be careful and keep an eye out for enemies. Enemies? Like what? There. Like those lions. Oh, my. Do you think you'll be OK? See how big and strong he is. It'll take a lot more than a few young lions to scare him. Maybe it's time to give the pip ship a call. You've had enough of hanging around with the buffaloes, have you? I think we've seen just about everything there is to see. Come in, pip ship! So where to next, Eva? I think we'll let the pip ship decide. Wherever it is, I know it's pretty exciting. Exciting is our number one word. So let's move on, pip ship! Click on the videos above to see more amazing animals. And be sure to subscribe.